Perpetuals Hummingbird Mint, $29.34 on three easy payments of $9.78. And we've got free shipping and handling with this, of course. Thanks, darling. Um, so here we go. This one is going to take full sun. It blooms from spring to fall, and it's a perennial, so it's going to come back year after year after year. The three easy payments on this, that goes away at the end of the day. We do have the free shipping and handling. I will tell you, though, also, the price on this goes up at the end of the day. The four that you're seeing in front of you is exactly what you get. It's four actively growing plants. They'll come in a three and a quarter inch pot. Um, they resist deer and rabbits. So this is the first time we're bringing the bunnies into mm -hmm. play here. What are these all about? Oh, hummingbird mint. So as the name implies, it's another pollinator plant and it's another fragrant plant. So both mm. the, oh flowers, my God. Yeah, the flowers are almost oh like a gosh. licorice scent and the leaves are a little bit of a minty scent. So here you're getting that same thing as you got with the <laughs> lavender. You are getting fragrance and color and a pollinator plant in one. Oh my gosh, that's unbelievable. It smells like licorice. And then it, I know. there's a little bit of mint. A mint little bit of licorice. mint, yeah. Oh, it's so good. I'd love to put it in my tea. Can you eat this? Uh, yeah, you can, absolutely. So hummingbird mint, is, you can you can dry it. And I, I don't know if I would eat it, but dry I mean, it. I would like squish yeah. it into my tea, my iced tea. Oh, that's amazing. It is great. Um, okay, so tell me a little bit more okay, about these. Okay, so our hummingbird mint, we're called, we call perpetuals. And when Cottage Farms puts a name like that, although we could call a lot of our plants perpetuals because they bloom nonstop, but this hummingbird mint really does give you these colors nonstop. So we have wow. two colors here, the peachy keen and the rosy posy, which I love those <laughs> names. And so when they do arrive, they are going to look like this. And don't worry, they will be labeled which color is which so oh, you good, know. Good. And we also have a growing guide. So if you don't remember, in this case, you'll know what Peachy Keen and Rosy Posy are, but if you can't remember or if the names are a little bit more abstract, this growing guide will always take care of you and let you know everything that you need to know about the plant. It's got the sun requirements, the planting requirements, and that's included in every shipment. Nice. So take take it, store the it somewhere. Brings us. Tell me a little bit. I know. I mean, I know we started the show with kind of learning a little bit more about you, our viewers getting to know you and stuff. Um, as far as plants go, now we looked at lavender. Mm -hmm. um, right now we have uh, the the mint here. Do you like to plant with your kids? Remember, tell the kids that your kids are four and four two. Four and two. And what yep. are their names again? Quinn and Reese. Quinn and Reese. Yes. That's so cute. Little um, girls. Did they like to? Two little girls. Yeah. Nice. Do they or do you like to grow more things that you can eat or use or do you like more scented things to grow with them or more flowerful, colorful things? I like to grow everything. Actually, we just started our seeds last weekend for our, our edible garden. We're doing an all purple garden this year. Nice. Purple cauliflower, purple asparagus, purple carrots, because my four-year-old's favorite color is purple, if you didn't <laughs> guess it. Um, but so I like, but yeah, I like but to- what a way to get her to eat her vegetables. Absolutely. Make them her favorite color. They, last year, they would take the cucumbers right off the vine and eat the entire cucumber. Wow. Yeah, so that's, it's awesome. But I also love growing flowers because there is one thing about, you know, yes, they do eat their vegetables, but they're still not passionate about them as right. I would want them to be. So right. they can get into flowers. They can go out, they can, and my four-year-old's learning how to use scissors. So I'm teaching her, she'll clip her own. Nice. She makes her own bouquet. She can oh, have them in her room. Oh, I and I, I, this actually makes a great cut flower. Take a look at these, wow. the stalks. They're almost like this feathery. I mean, this hummingbird mint is a great cut flower. You won't, it will keep blooming. So don't worry about taking some from the butterflies and the mm. pollinators because it will continue to bloom all summer long late spring all the way through to a frost it will just keep on blooming so it makes a great cut flower but yeah I mean I love growing everything with the girls right now what we're doing is we're expanding our pollinator garden okay. so we're taking plants that attract pollinators so we can have more wildlife in our in our lives see it's a it's a circle you guys you plant something because you think it's pretty and lovely pretty and lovely things come over and um, join you for some company and you're pleased with the pretty and lovelies. So it's like this total give and take, mm -hmm. this ebb and flow of nature. That's why I think a garden is something so important for everyone. It gives and it gives and it gives. And, and the more you give it, the more it appreciates Absolutely. it. It's one of the most peaceful places that I go to. And your garden, like I said, doesn't have to be big. It can be two feet by two feet. It can be in a little pot. It can be in a little mini fairy garden. Mm. I don't care what it is. It's just a place where you go where you feel the beauty of nature. 
it's just something that keeps giving. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> and like these, I mean, these are going to be really big superstars. So they're going to give back and they're super easy to grow. So if you haven't gardened before, if you're afraid to take that first step, you know, we've talked about the Cottage Farms warranty that we want to make sure that you're successful because we're growing gardeners. We want more of that full circle. We want you to experience that beauty. And this is a great place to start because these will be flowering all summer long wow. with this beautiful, I mean, you can't go wrong with, they're almost, a, this representation of the colors is almost a dustier pink and a dusty orange. I it's mean, like they're a, really yeah, soft, nice. soft, almost yeah. like hazy look to them. They yeah. almost look magical. They almost look like fairy tale land, if I can say that. Just keep in mind, though, the three easy payments do go away at the end of the day. Um, we do have the free shipping and handling, and the price goes up at the end of the day. So if you know you want to get these members a set of four, this is what it's going to look like. Make sure you get it before the end of the day because all the goodies go away at that point. Full sun, late spring to fall is when it's going to bloom. And that's on three payments of $9.78. And I just had to grab these because daylilies, when we talk about easy to grow, check out these daylilies that's with coming this up. hummingbird mint. Oh, oh wow. I love these colors together. Oh my together. gosh, I love that too. All right, wait, what's coming up? Oh, we're going to see a little something about garden trends this year. Let's do it. So a lot of great, exciting trends.